Hey guys, this is the Noise Bomber here, coming to you with a new video about love. Now I'm not talking about the love that you see at first sight, or the one that you meet on Tinder, you know, oh my god, this guy's got a massive six pack, although you think you see this chick and oh shit, I'm gonna drown my boobs in that tonight, but no, I'm specifically talking about gaming love. Now there is variants of different types of gaming love, but I'm talking about two specific different types. One of them is the typical ego that will bait other guys, or guys will bait other girls to make them, you know, can manipulate them in their own way and benefit them in their own games and the second one is basically actually true love now I can hear in the back of people's minds you know there's no such thing as online gaming love well to prove that wrong I actually did meet my partner on online gaming and we happen to be together right now so you know it's not fake and it is quite possible but there are certain things that you need to look out for and there's certain time of things that you need to actually watch now there's certain variations that you gotta look out for, like if you live in the same country, if you live close by, if you two actually are really interested with each other, but I'm gonna start off with the e-girls. Now the reason why I say e-girls is because there are more dominant women that actually like to play on men, rather than men playing on women, because you know, it's quite easy for them, and men, you know, they think with their addiction, you know, oh there's a hot chick hitting on me, so I'll just do what they say and try and please them. Now I'm not saying all female gamers do this, but most of them are egos and they do give them a bad name, which is the reason why so many guys try to hit on them when they are online gaming, because finding a girl online gaming is like finding diamond in a rough. It's really rare to find someone like a female to play games the same as you. So I'm going to give you a short few tips and to see what is an ego or what is actually a genuine person that you have an interest in and you know, try and build up a connection and actually end up in a relationship. Now kind of taken into point that you know some of these points will not give you a 100% guarantee of a relationship with a guy or girl online gaming but more as an eye opener you know to see if you know you can build a connection with someone. And the first point is party or game invites. Now this is just a minor thing but it also contributes into what the person is interested is in the same thing as you. So if you play like Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Forza Horizon 3 some of the games that you two genuinely play but you don't play together and just find out that they'll constantly send you party invites or game invites as soon as you jump online. Now it is not a major thing, you know, people sending you invites to games or parties, but it is quite questionable when you're constantly on the same game for like say about a month that they're constantly sending you invites. And with party invites also comes up with my next point which is the laugh and roasting. And the reason why I point out these two shows you how genuine the person is. So if they start laughing at no matter how dumb your jokes are and they start laughing constantly or really high pitched. Mainly the girls. It kind of like puts you in a like state of mind that oh they must like me I'll just keep being a dickhead I'll just keep being a smart ass you know. And with that comes the roasting of the other male gamers that mostly play in the lobby as the same as you and you start taking offense because she's also laughing with them and you think fuck I'm trying to impress this girl and they're just being dicks to me later knowing that they know you're being baited by this one girl and she knows it's working. Now this works vice versa as well as if a guy was just laughing at a girl's jokes and she's trying to be a fool which I highly doubt but there if, if there are a few but well you know you're just being baited by another guy you know trying to get impressed and manipulated to get sent news and all of a sudden he's not talking to you anymore but with the laughing and roasting also comes with the good effects you know if a girl is really interested in you like my partner is they'll roast the fuck out of you like there's no tomorrow and if their jokes are really bad they'll still roast you because you know they know it's not funny and then you're just being dumbass and you make out to look stupid which I will happily admit my partner has constantly done that so many times to me I'm just you know admitted that I am quite dumbass on Xbox Live but you know I'm not that bad of a gamer but when it comes to talking I'm really horrible just like this narration but I think it's funny that I just said narration which is really a commentary which also brings up to my next point which is the genuine or the acting of the person now this can be picked off really easily like you know if a female gamer is online, every guy knows over, knows that, that she's in the lobby and they start drooling over her and then she goes, don't worry, I'm a girl, I know how to play. They're acting. They're trying to bait the guys in because, you know, they're trying to get the moral support, you know, they're trying to get the good feedback. But there's always the couple of guys that know what she's trying to do and they'll try and roast her. But end up getting backfired because, you know, the other guys just want to get news from her so they'll start protecting her. 
But the genuine side of the female gamers or male gamers, if you say Ark Snooze, they'll probably troll you and send you some really freaking gross ass pedo fed. Yeah, I'm not going there, but some gross ass photo of someone else just to troll your stupid ass, you know, saying that you're going to get a new, but really, you're not. But yes, acting is very implemented into the female girl gamers, you know, trying to impress them. That's why most of them are very popular on Twitch, because, you know, there's um, Zoe, Vo uh, Zoe, Burger? Zoe Burger, who actually, you know, started twerking for, like, kills or deaths or whatever, I don't fucking know, but she's portraying what a female gamer is typically seen or apparently shown at home but which is really false that's not what the fem typical female gamers are and the people watching this are thinking man you're just talking about a lot of female gamers what about the male gamers well you know when you think male gamers you know what they look like they're probably like unfit or just lazy clothes and just sweaty pimply face and laid back on the lazy boy everyone knows what a typical male gamer is but no one knows what a typical female gamer is because there's so many portrayals of them that no one actually has a clue which is the reason why it came to birth of the ego which everyone will drool over and ask for news and they'll get manipulated as hard as they can by them knowing that they'll try and get uh, get into her good books as much as possible but end up not talking to them probably never again so what i'm saying is if you find a genuine person like someone that actually likes to talk to you someone that enjoys playing games someone that doesn't mind getting roasted but also roasting you could potentially become a relationship with you on online gaming not saying that online gaming relationships don't exist but they are not so popular but they do exist like I've been a lot in a lot of relationships and my current one now that I actually found her on Xbox Live well actually we actually met on Xbox Live but you know that can be another story for later on but I'm pretty sure that I am confident to say that I am happy with this relationship than any other relationship I have been in so yeah it's basically finding the right person and the, basically seeing how genuine they are Male gamers, I'm talking to you, so you better start thinking with your heads and not the one in your pants. So, you know, you just gotta look out for that right person, and if you find that genuine person, if you find the one that, you know, has similar interests, build a, like, friendship. Don't go straight out, oh, do you like me, you know what? No. No, that's not how it works, because then they'll get creeped out and they'll never talk to you again, and you're just stuck there and lonely in your bedroom watching Pornhub jacking off with it because you fucked up a possible relationship. Fuck, man, I need to breathe more when I do these commentaries, but yeah. That's all I got to say for these things. Don't fall for the typical eagles or for the females. Don't fall for the typical guys saying they got the six packs and all that shit. Try and find the genuine person who has a similar interest as you and, you know, could possibly turn out to be a really good friendship and po could be a good relationship. But that's all I've got to say. Comment down below what your experiences are with online relationships or if you, if you ever had one that was online gaming. But yeah, this is the Noise Bomber. I'm signing out on this. You know, I'm sorry for late videos, but it's kind of hard when you're working and trying to record videos and think of other stories. You know, that's not really posted that well on YouTube, but try my best and, you know, it's quite hard. But if you did enjoy that video, slap the like button. If you're new to my channel as well, make sure you subscribe and watch out for new content that could be coming your way. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.